Hello again everyone, Stephen here from CigarNews.com. Getting through the second third of the La Aroma de Cuba Robusto. Um, flavors have pretty much stayed the same except starting to pick up a little bit more nut. The burn has been okay, the ash is holding on pretty decent. Uh, falls off about every inch or so. A um, little flaky but not bad, just need to pay attention to it before it drops on you. Um, one thing I will mention is on the retro hail just a minute ago, boy, my nose is on fire right now. So I don't know if I just happened to get one that had quite a bit of spice or what, but uh, but it was really it was really warm, and every time I keep breathing out, it it just still kind of keeps coming on. But nothing that's unenjoyable, nothing that's that's bad by any means. Uh, just a little bit different, a little bit strong. One thing I will I will show you. Hopefully you guys can see this on the band. You can see where part of the cigar kind of stuck. Got just a little bit coming off right there. Um, it's not probably not going to affect anything. Just one thing I like to see in a cigar is I like to see when they make sure that the band is actually glued to the band and, and none of it happens to leak through to the cigar. Of course, it wasn't a, a big chunk that came out or anything. There's no smoke coming out of it, so it's probably not going to affect anything. Just a little bit disappointing, but um, no complaints about the cigar. Really enjoying it. Uh, there for just a minute, got a big, big kick of leather coming through. And that's one of my favorite flavors uh, in a cigar. So it was really enjoyable there for just a, just a couple puffs for that, for that big little kick. But that kind of subsided, uh, as I mentioned, kind of getting a little bit more nutty flavor coming through. That cocoa still staying there. Uh, very nice and enjoyable. So I'll keep going, get through this, uh, start getting through the final third, and I'll let you know how it ends up.